Hi guys, it's Mr. Toad of the Game. For my dog, he's barking. Welcome to my new Let's Play Mario Party 1. I've been holding this off for a long time, but now I'm finally ready to do this. And I have my lunch with me. Yay, let's get started. So I'm going to be showing everything there is to show off. There's a mushroom bank, item shop, big mountain, big house, and I'm going to go to wood pipe first. Adventure. I don't know what that game was, I don't care. Okay. How many people will play this time? Just me! Here's the character roster. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Wario, and Duck Mom. This first player I'm gonna be Wario. I'm gonna play with Mario, Yoshi, and I guess Peach. I'm gonna be playing with the computers on hard, because I want to. You know the six boards, JK Storm Adventure, Peach's Birthday Cake, Yoshi's Travel Island, Warriors Battle Canyon, Luigi's Engine, Mario's Inner Castle, and then the Hannah Boys Battle Line and that Inner Turtle Star. I'm gonna start with Mario's Rainbow Castle. Remember, <sighs> turn to play, I'm gonna do 20. Yay! Mario's Rainbow Castle. I can't skip this, unfortunately. Yay! So basically you just jump out of a pipe and Koopa will come and greet you. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast you know what to do with cast the fucking cast the very disappear. Now it's now turn on you have to roll a dice roll whatever gets the highest roll go first. And I'm going third for this board. Because I don't like going third, but going third is alright. It's better than going last, I'd say. So we have to get 10 points to do what we want with. Yeah. And we find out the star is up there. The star will always be up there. <laughs> okay, so Mario. Four. So don't wait till my turn to do like my setting. And then I'll go for like. Give me get the four. Seven. Okay. My turn. I don't do my settings. You have to do this everywhere. Now put the minigame settings to you. Save settings to every turn. Then I'm gonna mess with you fast. Okay, so the gimmick of the four is this thing up here. It's for the star. When you get the star, it will change to Bowser. You don't want to get Bowser. Also, the spaces, blue spaces gave you three coins, red spaces take away three half blue spaces, well, and this one will change Toad and Bowser. Chance time, you can either trade stars or coins, this is a minigame space, you will um, play a minigame to determine what will happen, and then there's Bowser spaces, which, something bad will happen. Now I start with a nine. That's a good, that's a good rule to start out with for this board. Please shut so up. One! Wonderful! So our first minigame of the project is Shy Guy Says. So what are the rules of Shy Guy Says? Yeah! Raise the same color flag as the Shy Guy. A is white, B is red. The Shy Guy goes on shaky by raising two flags at once, so be careful. So you do, yeah, you do want to be pretty careful in this minigame. But, it's not a hard mini game. Just make sure you have the reflexes to do this right. And already, Mario and Peach have been eliminated. We think it's just me and Yoshi. I win. I won the first mini game of the project. That's a nice start. Awesome. So you get 10 points when you win a mini game. It's a very good thing to win mini games. I want to check them because I don't know if those are actually hard players. I want to wait for Mario to roll. Alright, okay. No, I'm gonna have to just leave them in the settings. Hey Mario! You two! Yoshi! Four! 
My turn. Two. What a great roll that was. Two. What a great roll that was for Peach. Mini game. Balloon burst. I like balloon burst. I'm gonna get my lunch. I'm eating ribs. They're messy. Alternate press A and Z to blow up the back of B can be used instead of C. When the pump flashes, it's full of air. When it's full, you can pump lots of air in the balloon. This mini game generally isn't that difficult. I think Molly is gonna take it. Oh sweet, I got it! Nice! I like that. I am off to a very good start. Won too many games in a row. So that's definitely a good thing. Okay, so what do I think of Mario Party 1 in the way of standing since I'm the best Mario Party? It's definitely down there on the bottom corner. This is definitely not my favorite Mario Party, but it's a good one. It's one of my least favorites in the game. Also, I can get a chance time, and I say, screw chance time. I don't want chance time. Chance time is not fun. Five. So we are playing our first one versus stream in the game, and it's... Pipe Maze! It was almost Crane Game! Yeah! Drop the fire chest in the pipe so it falls down with you. Move the chest if the control can drop with A. As the maze go by, watch closely and wing your way to the top. This is definitely one of the more annoying mini games in the game. It's definitely not easy. I think I know which one I am. Nope, that's not mine. I think mine was the second one now that I think about it. Oh, she got herself. Well, good job, Peach, on winning the minigame, I guess. Finish. The minigames in this game aren't really that difficult. The only thing that I really don't like in this game is chance time. Chance time will pretty much determine your chances of winning or losing. So you want to be careful on chance time. And all the numbers are preset in this Mario Party. Meaning you won't um, know what you get like obviously you don't know until you roll dice, but then again it is Small Man Party is pretty good. I'm on my way towards the star! But so is Mario. Seven. And Peach gets the first happening space. Meaning that now Toad is Bowser. And we're playing a 1 vs 3 again. Tug of War. This minigame is very infamous. Because you have to rotate the control stick. It's a 3 vs 1 Tug of War against the player in the bottom. So you rotate the control stick to pull the rope. Just rotate the control stick. When you fall from the cliff, you get eaten by a giant cloud. Now, you can get hurt from rotating if it's too hard, so I'm just going to be careful. Excuse me. Ah! Ow! That hurt so much. Oh my god, that hurt so much. Ah, uh, dang it! Oh well. I lose five coins. Yoshi gets fifteen. I'm still in the lead, so screw you. Damn right, Yoshi. I'm still ahead of you. Five. He's going down. Skipping the one player mini game. Seven. Now, Boo, you can steal coins for free or stars for 50. 
I'm gonna lose some coins. Shoot. Only three. Wow, that was interesting. I didn't lose that many, but that's nice. My turn. Two. Aim. Short block. Three. Short blocks can only roll one, two, three. One, two, or three. Bumper balls. This mini game is just roll on balls. Roll your ball and try to bump the others on the seats. Control six, roll on your ball. Don't push all the time. If you retreat to death, press the momentum and carry them in the ocean. This minigame is a little tricky, but it's not a bad minigame. There are definitely worse minigames in the game. This minigame can be tough, because they will always aim for the human player. I'm really nervous right now. I'm nervous. This minigame usually ends in a troll. It was Mario. I am stuck between Peach and Yoshi. Yoshi's dead, this is me and Peach. Which may be a draw though. Because... Yeah, no one's going anywhere. This minigame usually does end in a draw though. Yeah, considering that we keep hitting each other, this is gonna be a draw. Yep, it's a draw, so nobody wins. Oh well. Hey. Mario could get Bowser if it's picking the roll. Nope, not even close. Yoshi. Plus block. Two. Really? It's a one versus one. He's a Mocha Block Tower! Knock Block Tower is a pretty hard game. Stack of one block and crush it down, leave the box and the treasure chest on top. This is a hard minigame. I have never tried this that many times. And the computer players are perfect at it. There are bonus stars at the end of the game. Yoshi has the minigame star, the coin star, and Peach has the happening star. So, my early lead is now gone because he got the freaking plus block. Now I'm doing really bad. I'm doing horrible. I'm sucking so much. Like, you don't want to know how much I'm sucking. Nine! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Happening? No, I'm not getting Bowser. <laughs> Sorry. So I get the happening space, but that could actually be bad. Because I might get to Bowser if Mario gets six. Three. Four player again. Boss now and ma'am. This is one of the hardest mini games in the game. Break the mountain stab off to make my coins inside. Boss now and there's also one block to bounce back when you attack. This is a really annoying mini game. This mini game sucks. I uh, coin bad. I don't think I did. I think I might have done better than Yoshi. Twelve. He did better than me anyway. Wow. Shocking, really. That's really shocking. Three. Oh my God! I star. Figured. Go figure. And of course I would have got the star. Ugh. This board is impossible. Like there's no there's no way to be good at this board because by the time you get to the freaking star, you're going to lose your money, and I'm down to freaking nine coins. All because you got a five. 
Now, here's the problem with this game. The game rigs the die. Like, the numbers are preset, meaning I'm gonna be in a really bad position because all I have going for me is the happening star because somebody had to get the one player game and the coin star and he has the happening star. So, Yoshi has all the bonus stars, right? Really. Yoshi has all the bonus stars going for him. I'm on his team. Hi Maze again! Jeez, this is this was going so well. Now I lost every minigame after this point. Yeah, I know. I can't win any minigames anymore. Because apparently you know which one it is. She got it. Look, I won the first two minigames and I didn't win any minigames anymore. So that means I'm in last place like I had to fail the corner of this, and I came in fourth. Go figure. Oh, I thought that was myself. Okay, I might as well end the video with my 22 coins. and no way I can win this right now. Because somebody had to get a 5 at the worst possible time. He has minigame, he has coin, he has happening. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. 